I've got a brand new free drum plug in to tell you about with 40 kits included and some surprisingly useful features. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. Let's get onto that drum plug in in a moment. But first of all, let's take a look at a couple of other free plugins that I've recently discovered. Taldub2 is a free delay plugin with this handy drive feature in the middle that you can see here, which I'm going to be talking about later. But before we get into that, I just want to explain that I've made a demo for this using another free plugin and that is Spitfire Labs Electric Piano. Of course, I will put links in the description for both of these. So you're getting a kind of a, a two for one deal here and the deal is they're free. Um, now let's have a listen to this piano without the delay switched on first of all. Very nice, I'm sure. Now, if we go back to that delay plugin, I'll switch on. Let's just have a listen to it in its kind of default state. So just as a pure delay plugin, of course, it sounds really nice. And it's got a lot of the features you'd expect in here. Of course, the ability to change the delay time between the left and the right channels. You can link these things as well. And the same goes for the feedback, which you can see here. You can either have a different amount of feedback for the left and right channel, or you can link them. And um, there's also some nice features over here, like the high cut and the low cut. I shouldn't need to explain those to you, but basically um, it's to cut the high and the low frequencies so you can really keep the delay to specific frequency ranges and then some handy controls for things like resonance um, and panorama which I'll get onto those a little bit later but I want to focus first of all on this drive feature this adds a little bit of grit to the to the delay which I rather like now you could either add this on sort of full like I will do now and then control the mix with this uh, wet and dry knob down in the bottom right here or in this case what I'm going to do is just leave that as it is and I'm going to just pull the volume down because it does get a lot louder as you push this drive up now let's have a listen to how it sounds now now I rather like that little bit of extra grit that it's adding in there now you can make more changes to this of course with things like resonance we'll just push that up as i play this again And Panorama, I wish I could tell you what Panorama does. I've played around with it and I'm not exactly sure that I'm hearing much difference. Maybe it's dependent on some other settings. Download this free plugin, have a play around. And if you want to educate me, let me know in the comments down below what the Panorama knob really does. Now, I want to have a look as well at the modulation uh, down here. I'll just turn that uh, resonance down and just have a listen to what the modulation control does to the sound. I'll just push the rate up so you can hear it. Now I kind of like to have a collection of delay plugins in my arsenal. There's there's so many of them and you'd think they'd all be very similar, but they can be quite different. I think this is a very, very handy one to have there in your collection, especially if you want to get a little bit of a gritty sound to your delay. The Roland Juno 60 is an iconic synthesizer from the 1980s. You can buy one now by jumping on eBay and spending between two and three thousand dollars, or you can buy a commercial commercial plug-in version for quite a lot less. If you don't want to spend any money at all, then you can get this free version, the Tal Uno 62. Now, unlike the commercial plugins, it doesn't have a keyboard on the display, but it does have all of these other controls here so that you can craft these classic sounds from the 80s. Now, I'm not going to be crafting any sounds here, but I will go through two or three of the presets so you can get an idea of the quality of this instrument. Let's start off with a funky bass sound, very 1980s sounding. Thank you. 
Now, one of the things I like about these instruments is the chorus effect. I'm just going to put on, I mean, they, they're not difficult to use. They just have buttons to switch them on and off. I'll just put on chorus one here and have a listen to the difference this makes to that bass sound. absolutely wonderful let's move on to something a little bit different i am going to load up an organ lead sound that's sounding like this and if pads are your thing let's have a listen to a warm pad If this is the kind of thing that you love, it's the kind of sounds that you love, then I definitely recommend get hold of this right away for free. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> drum 8 is a brand new drum plugin from Audiolatry in conjunction with Cool Wave, and its fairly simple interface really hides the fact that it packs quite a punch. For starters, it's got 40 different kits. Now, I will say that they lean towards your kind of electronic music, but there are some acoustic sounding kits in there, starting off with this one, which is called the Real Kit. Or well, you may prefer something like this one, the Real Jammy Kit. And if you want to get really lo-fi with it, then you have this lo-fi mono kit sounding like this. Cool stuff. And then we start to get into more of that kind of um, electronic sound. This is the BAP House Kit. And it goes on like that. Let's have a listen to a few more. This is the Bits Kit. And what about the Dark Kit? I'll let you download this free plugin and discover those 40 kits for yourself. But I want to look at some of the other features that you actually get with this plugin. First of all, very obviously at the top with the gain and reverb controls, they are applied to the whole kit. Yeah, so you can just make it quieter or louder with the gain and add reverb over here. The filter is a filter. I'm just going to uh, use this control to kind of demonstrate to you what it does. Let's go to the broken tape kit for that. Can hear there that essentially as you turn it down it cuts on those low frequencies and then focuses on the lower sounding stuff very very cool indeed now you've got the, so the sort of drum or oh, sorry eight different drum sounds there to choose from now you can individually make changes to these sounds so for example i have the kick selected here i'm going to change that to the snare and then i'm going to pan the snare okay from left to right let's go to a different kit again while we do that the smack kit Now, as well as making changes to things like pan, you could also do it to things like attack. So let's just push the attack up here. You can hear it makes that kick drum sort of really soft and squishy. Add it down, put it down low. It's got much more of a kick to it. And you've also got a gain control over each instrument. And one thing which I often go on about on this channel is the fact that you can actually output each of the drums to a separate output. That is the control that we can see just down here. What that means is you can set it to a different channel uh, in your console in whatever door you're using. That gives you the ability to mix from your door's console and perhaps more importantly to apply different effects two different drums giving you even more control over the sound and enabling you to make it quite unique follow the link in the description down below for this new plugin now there's actually a lot of free plugins out there but not all of them are that great so i've made this series of videos so you can get straight to the good stuff so click here grab yourself a coffee and have a little binge